Hi there, thanks for joining me. This is Kristen here with Realware, and I'm going to be walking you through the steps to use WebEx Expert on Demand with the HMT. So let's get started. The first step in making a WebEx Expert on Demand call is to get connected to Wi-Fi. And the easiest way to do that is to download the Realware companion app to help you get signed in. So if you go to the Apple Store or the Android Store, you can type in Realware, all one word, companion, and download the app. If you have any troubles finding the app when you're in the marketplace, just look for the gray and white icon. You can see what it looks like here on this screenshot. Realware, again, all one word, companion. Go ahead and open that application and I'll walk you through the steps how to get signed in. The first item in your menu options is going to be configuration. If you tap configuration, a drop down menu will pop up with a gray screen and the very last selection is wireless network setup. Go ahead and select that and you're going to input your Wi-Fi credentials and generate a code. On your phone, go ahead and select the network that you wish to connect to, or you can enter a wireless network name, and you're going to select the network security and type in the password. When you hit generate code in the bottom right hand side of your phone or your tablet, it's going to generate that code. You want to hold on to that, and we're going to open up the HMT configuration app, and we're going to scan this code in, which will bump us directly onto the Wi-Fi network. So to find this feature in the HMT, you can say My Programmed. Next, you can say Configuration. After you say Configuration, your camera is going to automatically turn on and wait for that QR code. So hopefully you still have it in your hand. You're going to go ahead and hold that up in front of your camera. Your camera should be located right above the display pod and it is adjustable. You can move it up and down. You can also zoom in closer if you need to. And this is going to auto scan and bump you onto Wi-Fi. You may notice if this is the first time you're turning on your HMT, that your HMT is automatically prompting you to scan in this Wi-Fi code. So you may already have this showing by default out of the box. Navigate home. To ensure you're connected to Wi-Fi, the most simple way to do that is to go to your home screen and you'll notice the name of the Wi-Fi network right there underneath your Bluetooth network and bat battery settings. So now that you are connected to Wi-Fi, let's get on the application and get connected to an expert. First things first, let's log into WebEx Expert on Demand. So to find the application, Make sure you're connected and say My Programs. Once you're in My Programs, you can scroll your head from right to left to find the application in your programs that you wish to access. For me, I can either say Expert on Demand or I can say Select Item 7. So anytime you see a number on the HMT associated with a selection, you can always say select item and the number that corresponds to that. The first thing you'll see when you're in the app is it's going to welcome you and ask you to scan a code. And just like we did to get into the Wi-Fi code, we're going to do the same thing with the Realware companion app to generate our WebEx expert on demand code. Let's go ahead and generate a login code utilizing the Realware Companion app. So if you go back to your home screen on the app, you'll see those four main menu features once again, and you'll notice the last menu feature says codes to log into apps, and that's where we want to be. So go ahead and select that, and the drop down menu only has one option, WebEx. Go ahead and select that, and you'll see a screen that says expert on demand generate code. Now, just as a heads up, you may see an additional screen that asks you which version of Expert on Demand you're on. For example, if you can see my screen here, it's very, very small, this pop-up. It's going to ask me if I'm on Expert on Demand 1.5 and above, which I am, or if you're on Expert on Demand 1.5 and below. 
In this case, this training is specifically for 1.6, and I have just loaded 1.6 onto my HMT. So with these new annotation features, you want to make sure you've got the latest and greatest, and you're going to want to select 1.5.1 and above. So once you do that, you'll see this generate code screen. It may or may not pop up, but if you do get it, you'll know what to select. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in our email address associated with WebEx and our password. Once we do that, you're going to get the generated code that pops up on your smartphone, and we're going to scan that code the same way we did with the Wi-Fi network. At this point in the process, you'll already be prompted to scan the code on your HMT. You're going to take that generated code and again hold it up in front of your camera, and this will do all of your sign in of your logins and passwords for you so you don't have to use your voice to manually enter that. You should now be signed into your Expert on Demand account, and all of your recent calls and information should come down from the cloud. Now, the first time you use this application, remember you're going to get the standard allow access, grant access to your HMT. So you're going to have this pop up screen. There's going to be three allow access screens that pop up. Go ahead and just say allow to all three of these pop up screens. Once the app has been provisioned and allowed access, you're going to immediately see your recent contacts. And this will constantly change depending on who you're contacting the most. But the great thing is it gives you easy access to these people on your main screen. So if I wanted to call Mike Farr, I can just simply say select item four and it would immediately connect me to Mike Farr. I've got the option here to just easily connect with Mike by saying make call or I can say request help. And remember, one of the global commands of the HMT is navigate back and navigate back will always take you back one screen. So in this case, it would take you back to your recent call list. Let's take a look at these two options and see what happens. So if you say make call, this is what your screen will look like. Make call. And this will start your video call. Now you've only got one option and that's to cancel the call. So when you're making a call, this is what you should see on the screen. If instead you'd like to request help, you can say request help and a message will be sent to your teammate that says, I need assistance, can you get in touch with me? So this is what your screen will look like when you say request help. It will confirm that your help requested has been sent and the user on the other end will get a Teams chat. And remember, navigate back, will take you back to that home screen. Another option on this main recent call list is you can also say directory. Once you're in the directory, you can search for anybody in your network. So here we're going to say search directory. You can search your entire directory just by speaking the letters of the name of the person you wish to find who's not on your recent call list. So in this case, if I wanted to find Aaron, I would just say alpha, alpha. And his name has already popped up, by the way. So once that name has popped up on the screen, you're going to want to say close keyboard. And then in this case, to call Aaron, I would just say select item one. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to make a call or request help the same way as it would if I called him for my recent contacts? You're always going to see these two options when you select someone to call and I can make my selection. Remember to get back to your main screen, just go ahead and say navigate back. Now that I'm back to my main screen, let's explore some of these other options in the bottom menu selection. Let's go ahead and say display teams. When you get within your teams, you can select which team you want to contact. So in this case, if I want to contact design and marketing, I would say select item one. Select item one. There we go. Now I've got all of the people in this group on my screen. 
In this case, I think you guys are getting the hang of it by now. Anyone I want to contact, go ahead and say select item with a number next to it. So if you notice, Erin was also in this design and marketing group. So if I wanted to call someone specifically in this group, they may not be from my recent contacts list. For example, Aaron wasn't in my recent contacts list, but I could have went to design and marketing to find him. In this case, I know he's in this group. I could also say select item one to contact him. And again, you'll get that famous make a call or request help option, and you can connect directly to Aaron that way. So now we've covered three easy ways to contact people from your recent call list, from your directory, and from your team's groups. Now, if you are in a call and you wanna to connect to more than one person, the way you would do that is the expert caller would go to their PC into the application and they can just simply say, add guest. The add guest feature is in that blue menu item with the three dots and you can add up to four people ad hoc on an active one-on-one -on -one call. So remember, the expert is going to initiate adding more than one person to your call. So in this case, if the problem or the issue or the instructions can't be resolved with just one person, you need to loop in a different expert, you can go ahead and do that this way. You'll see this has been very easy to navigate so far, and that's the great thing about expert on demand. Everything you see on the screen, you can just say to select. Now let's talk about how to share a screen when you're using the HMT. And if you share a screen, this is going to allow the expert on the other end on the PC side to annotate the screen. So let's say for example, you're looking at something, you're fixing something and the expert needs to circle and make an annotation or a highlight to the item you're looking at. In this case, the HMT user would need to say share screen to initiate the expert annotation. Once the HMT user says share screen, they're gonna get a prompt again that asks them to um, allow them to start capturing everything that's displayed. Of course, you're gonna say start now or select item three. Now that you allow that app access, the person on the expert side can then use the annotation tools to mark up the screen and that user on the other end will be able to see. Since I'm not connected to someone right now, there is a great demo walkthrough video. It's linked here at the top of this slide. I'd love for you guys to watch it. The great thing about this video, it shows not only what the HMT user is seeing, that frontline worker, but you're also going to see what the remote expert is seeing. So it really gives you a whole view of what the entire call will look like from both angles. Now let's talk about what if the HMT user, myself in this case, wants to annotate the screen. Let's say they're trying to talk to the person on the other end that's the expert and the expert just isn't picking up on the exact details they need. The HMT user would then need to annotate the screen and they can do that very simply by capturing a still photo and annotating. So in this case, if the HMT user wants to use annotation, they would just simply say, take photo. While they're on the call and while they say take photo, it's going to capture that still shot. So make sure your camera is adjusted where it needs to be and you captured that photo. From that point, you would see this screen and you would say annotate. Now here's where you wanna add annotation. So you would simply just select that menu feature on the left and say add annotation. In add annotation, you've got a few very simple and easy to use options. So go ahead and say more options to check them out. First, let's start by selecting a color. I feel like red is always very easy to see, so I'm gonna say select color. And from this point, I'm gonna select red, so all you would say is red. Now I'm gonna select my cursor shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, select cursor. And from this point, I'm gonna say circle, and it's going to select the circle cursor. You can also select square and arrow, things like that. Now to hide these options from the overlay of the screen, you would simply just say, hide options, and your screen would go back to your full display. 
I'm going to share a little tip with you here. So if you need to move the cursor around, you can simply say move up, move down, move left, move right. But if you get to this screen and it's been a little while since you've used the application and you can't remember how to move the cursor, go ahead and say show help. And on the screen will pop up with all the voice commands that correspond with this annotation screen. So if you ever get stuck anywhere in the HMT, show help is a global command that will help walk you through how to navigate the screen that you're on. Same thing with the nudge option. You can say nudge up, nudge down, nudge left, nudge right, and you can move the cursor just slightly. Again, remember show help if you ever need help with this feature. When you're done with your annotation, go ahead and say save annotation, and it will keep that annotation exactly where you want it on the screen. The annotation will then appear on your image and you'll want to move on to the next step so you can send this over to the expert. Next, you're going to say save photo. And now we're going to want to send this photo to the expert on the other end. So we're going to go ahead and say navigate back. Once you navigate back, you'll have menu items on the screen that say annotate, send photo or cancel. In this case, we want to say send photo so we can send this to the expert. Now the expert on the other end will get a picture just as if you sent them a picture in a regular chat and they'll see your annotation clear as day on the PC. On your end, the HMT user, you're gonna get a little message that says image upload successfully to know that the person on the other end has received your message. And with that, we just covered the fundamentals of how to use expert on demand with the HMT. Now you're probably wondering, how am I going to demo this out with a micro display if you're the HMT person trying to give instructions on how to use Expert On Demand? Well, today I captured a lot of great screenshots to help this training go more smoothly. And I did that by using the RealWare Explorer. This is an awesome software tool. If you ever need to screen mirror your micro display to a larger screen, this software will do that for you on your PC. So I provided a link to that in this slide. You can download it for free on realware.com. Make sure you have the 4.1 version and you're able to grab screenshots, do live walkthroughs, do recordings, and it's just really great for utilizing or training others. Another thing that's gonna be really handy is there is an awesome demo video. We talked about it when we were showing um, how the expert sees the call. And this is the expert on demand demo video created um, just recently by the Cisco team. And that's on this YouTube link here that you see in the second bullet. Make sure to click that because it does a full walkthrough from both perspectives. And when you're the one demoing it with the HMT, it's really hard to give somebody who's a learner a both view perspective of what you're seeing because you're always going to, going to all, always be seeing just the HMT or just the expert side. And this is going to give you that double view to see the whole picture. And I'm not going to let you go without sharing my favorite go-to resources. So if you need more support with your HMT, please bookmark realware.com support. It really has all of our training content and any materials that you may need uh, to answer your questions or to deep dive a little bit more into the HMT and all the great things it can do. It also covers things like sanitation. You know, that's a really big topic right now. How do you wipe this down? How do you sanitize it if you're sharing them amongst users? So make sure you go to realware.com support if you're looking for something particular, you can find it there. Another site I wanna share with you is getting started with Expert On Demand. This help site is going to help you through anything you may need from the software side of things. And of course, support at realware.com. Any questions you may have regarding the product or any troubleshooting issues, ways to do things easier or any questions you may have, please leverage that email. We're here to help you and that's an in-house email directly to us. And this is our last slide together. So I wanna thank you for spending the last 20 minutes allowing us to show you how to walk through expert on demand with the HMT. Thank you and have a nice day.